It's your voice, your vote, and with Super Tuesday just five days away, Donald Trump has lots of momentum after three straight wins. Tonight's GOP debate may be the last best chance for his rivals to shake things up, and ABC's John Carl is here with all the latest. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. We're down to just five candidates on the stage tonight. If the others can't find a way to slow Trump down, it won't be long until we're down to one. At a pre-debate rally in Houston, Marco Rubio showed a new willingness to take on Donald Trump, questioning whether he's ready to be commander-in-chief. You can't just say, well, when I get there, I'll hire the smartest people, and they're going to tell me what to do. <laughs> And in a Fox News forum last night, both Rubio and Ted Cruz questioned Trump's conservative credentials. We are not going to allow the conservative movement to be defined by a nominee who isn't a conservative. If Donald wins the gen general election, who the heck knows what he'd do as president? I, I mean, I, you know, we need a president we can trust. Trump is also taking fire from the last GOP nominee, Mitt Romney, over his unreleased tax returns. I think we have good reason to believe that there's a bombshell in Donald Trump's taxes. When people decide they don't want to give you their taxes, it's usually because there's something they don't want you to see. Trump fired back, tweeting that Romney, quote, blew an election that should have been won and is now playing the tough guy. Coming off three straight wins, Trump now seems confident he's on his way to the nomination. I mean, it's going to be an amazing two months. We might not even need the two months, folks, to be honest, all right? He's even musing about his potential vice presidential pick. The outsider saying he may go with a Washington insider. I do want somebody that's political because I want to get lots of great legislation that we all want passed that's just sitting there for years and years and years. Trump is also getting his first insider support just yesterday, George. He was endorsed by two junior members of Congress, his very first congressional endorsements. But as he told you just yesterday, endorsements are a quote, waste of time. <laughs> he did say that yesterday. You know, you're in front of that board for Super Tuesday right now. Let's give everyone a sense of why we call it Super Tuesday. What's at stake? Well, this is the single biggest day of the entire primary. Uh, nearly 600 delegates at stake. That is about half that you would need to clinch the nomination. You've got most of the big states in the South, a little bit of New England, a little bit of the Midwest. And, George, this is uh, uh, also where you can continue to get delegates, even with a second or third place finish. And, and Donald Trump ahead in most of the polls in most of those states right now. So both Rubio and Cruz have to find somewhere to get a win. Yeah, especially Ted Cruz. Look, his home state votes. He's got to win Texas. And also, his entire campaign has been based on winning in the South. If he can't find a way to win some of those southern states, it is lights out for the Ted Cruz campaign. As for Marco Rubio, it's unclear where he can win, but you can look at where he's spending his time, George. A lot of time in Minnesota, Virginia, Tennessee, Oklahoma. Unclear which of those states he can win, but he's got to show he can win somewhere. Okay, John, thanks. Let's go to Matt Dowd, who's in Texas, where the Republican debate is going to be held tonight. And Matt uh, this debate, as I said, is maybe the last best chance for Cruz and Rubio to shake things up right now. Up until now, they've been going at each other more than they've been going at Trump. Well, we've seen evidence that Ted Cruz is willing to take on Donald Trump, but I think the real question mark is, on the same stage, is Marco Rubio willing to get into it with Donald Trump? And I think nobody knows the answer to that question. I think there's been an internal debate in the campaign whether they confront Donald Trump on the stage tonight or whether they just leave him alone and continue on the way. And so I think that's the million-dollar question, is will Marco Rubio take on Donald Trump on stage tonight? And will anyone pick up on this Mitt Romney uh weighing in on the campaign yesterday saying there might be a bombshell in Donald Trump's tax returns. Of course, he faced questions uh, as well. You think anyone will pick up that uh, attack? I don't think so. It seems a bizarre line of, of attack by Mitt Romney, who, as you say, was attacked by his, on his tax returns by the former majority leader, Harry Reid, in the course of this. My advice to Mitt Romney, there's a lot of vulnerabilities Donald Trump has, but don't go after Donald Trump on tax returns, wealth, or car elevators. <laughs> okay, Matt, Dad, thanks very much. You're going to be joining us uh, on Super Tuesday, and you all can stay with us on Super Tuesday. I'll be here with our whole political team for a primetime special at 10 Eastern, plus full coverage on GMA and World News tonight. Thank <laughs> you.